Hi, I'm David Cantor with the Law Offices of David Michael Cantor, and welcome to my blog. Today's topic has to do with the five police officers and one city employee who were ordered by a court to voluntarily turn over DNA in regard to the investigation of the death of Sergeant Sean Drenth. Now, Sean Drenth was the officer who was found with a shotgun on his chest, a couple guns thrown, and they're not sure if it's a homicide or whether it's a suicide. And that happened about a year ago. Well, they have found that there's some DNA on the scene that they can't match. So about 330 other officers have voluntarily turned over DNA. These six did not want to do it, and the organization PLEA, which is the Phoenix Law Enforcement Association, agreed with them. And they said, look, we don't want them to turn it over because they're afraid their DNA could end up in the National Crime Database and they don't want that. Now, of course, when there's a court order, they all turned over their DNA. But what I find to be interesting is the fact that they're not already in a DNA database. Every employee of the city of Phoenix, including police officers, have to be fingerprinted. But why aren't they DNA tested if you're a police officer? And the reason I'm saying that is when you're initially at a crime scene, and let's say you find a body or somebody in distress, you're going to run over and check them, touch them, and do certain things. So if there's DNA collected, let's say, on a body, and they're like, uh-oh, we have DNA here and we don't know whose it is, why spend years trying to figure it out when you simply could match it to the officers who were the first to arrive on the scene? I mean, it should be done instantaneously. Same with fingerprints. We have six sets of prints. Three of them match the officers who were first on the scene, so we'll rule them out immediately. Let's focus on the other three sets. So uh, that's what I don't understand. I don't understand what plea is fighting this. If It should go the other way. All officers should have their DNA put into the national database. That way, um, crimes can be more easily solved. But hey, that's what I think. Tell me what you think.